I met up with inventor Bill Gray in his San Francisco studio, where we spoke about peak oil, storing energy, and alternative energy investment opportunities. The fact that peak oil is happening and that, and, that, and that pricing is getting more expensive and oil is getting more scarce, it gives an opportunity for all these other devices. You know, we've got this, this, this looming difficulty, right? right? And, and, you know, we can get upset or sad about that, you know, or we can say, hey, oil, you know, thanks for, thanks for all the good thanks times. Thanks for the good times. And move on. I am the CEO of a, of a startup company, and we are developing uh, an energy storage device, but that's about all I can say. Energy storage energy is a difficult, difficult problem to solve. One of the reasons that I became really interested in energy storage uh, is, uh, is because of wind power. I, you know, I think wind power is sort of cool. To be able to, to harvest the wind when it's there and then store it away for when you want it, um, you know, that's, that's a pretty cool trick. So how do we normally store the energy of the wind? Does it, does it get put into a battery or how well, does that work exactly? You know, we don't for the most part store the energy. You would like to be able to harness this energy right. in, a, in a form other than what we currently have, such as the battery, which right. seems to have a lot of issues. Right, well toxicity and, and, and expense, the value of storing and regenerating energy is, is not is not sort of all that obvious, right? You know, uh, people don't think of, of of energy as something that they need to really think about all that much. We're not going to be aware of these these issues of energy and energy storage until we don't have any, or it starts to be not as consistent as it once was. Do you right. think that's that's well, how we learn and change our behavior? Right. Innovation is going to become it's got to come from young people doing yes. new things, right? right? And this, you know, this is hard work, but it's very exciting. You know, you can you can really have an effect here and there and there are all these opportunities. How do you do something that nobody ever has figured out how to do before? Or, you know, maybe they've not figured it out because it's hard. Maybe they've not figured it out because uh, they never thought that it was that interesting before. Right. But when the world changes in these ways, it opens up all these opportunities for young people to come out and say, oh, you know, I've got this idea and I can do this. Well, how do we get people excited and interested in, in, in creating unforeseen technologies and solutions and what what's what's the motivating factor is it is it the price of gasoline the high energy prices make it possible to make money with a whole new set of technologies and that in turn allows investors to start investing in new technology I'm working on energy storage. Okay. That's, that's my thing. I think this is a huge opportunity in energy storage. Okay. Um, uh, but there are also all these other opportunities. I mean, there's a lot of work to be done with solar panels. You know, solar panels are cool. Right. But they can get a lot better than they are right now. Right. Windmills too. I mean, windmills are, are, are cool, but they're expensive. You know, so you know, it's not that hard to make a windmill. Could we make you know? them out of bamboo is my question. black market solar panels, maybe. Well, maybe, maybe. In the future, yeah. someone drives up, lifts open their tarp, black market solar panels. That sounds cool. Okay. Yeah, sure, Let's why not? That. Yeah. You yeah. business going. There you go. There you go, I just don't have Can to I wear that. a bandana? You can absolutely wear a bandana. And a knife patch. Absolutely. Yeah, and a and patch, no, I wish you would okay. actually. That would be, that'd be really uh, gangsta. Always time to cheer the seasons of the year.